In this video, you'll learn what advanced settings exist for your image layout and print needs. Click an image or an empty slot in the preview area to display the slot menu. Slots are containers that hold images on a page, indicated by red borders. The slot menu lets you control slot size and appearance in your layouts. You can choose a predefined size or image size, which sets the slot to an image's dimensions. Beneath the size setting, choose how you want the image allocated inside the slot. Fill slot with image crops the entire image in a way that completely fills the slot's dimensions. Fit image to slot inserts the entire image into the slot while retaining its original aspect ratio. Clicking the button on the far left of the slot menu lets you replace the image in the slot with a new one from a file folder. You can also crop and rotate images inside slots. At the bottom of the General Settings tab, you'll find Color Management Settings, which let you control how your image looks when printed. First, specify what color mode to use. Choose Use ICC Profile to print according to the paper loaded in your device. or by the color space of the image you've processed. Choose driver matching if you want to print with an impression close to that displayed by your monitor. Choose black and white photo if you'd like to print a color image in black and white. Choose no color correction to print images without changes. If you choose use ICC profile, you'll need to specify the printer profile and rendering intent. Selecting Auto selects the profile that matches your current printer and paper settings, but you can choose any profile you wish. For rendering intent, choose the option that best controls how you want the printer to manage colors it cannot print. Perceptual shifts all the colors in your image proportionately so that they are within the printer's color gamut. Relative colorimetric changes only the colors that are outside the printer's color gamut, which could change many colors to the same shade in printed output. Black point compensation, when enabled, looks for transition points in shadow areas, enhancing them to help prevent subtle variations in details from all being mapped to the same shade in printed output. <laughs> 